Let's pray. Marichubiotimbichoise <laughs> Can he in a van and jabi want to creator and choice been naughty? Oh, Master Logo, the Pantocrator, the Father, our Lord, God and Savior, and King of us, O Jesus Christ, we thank in everything concerning everything and in everything. We have protected us, sister, preserved and accepted us, had compassion upon us, supported us, and you brought us unto this hour. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, that you grant to conclude this blessed day, all the days of our life in peace and in your fear, all envy, all temptation, and work of Satan, all the intrigues of the wicked and the rising of the enemies, hidden and manifest. Cast them away from us and from all your people, and from this church, from this holy place which is yours. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you who has given us authority. <laughs> The place out of it be their anger, for it is fierce, and their wrath, for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Judah, you are he whom your brothers shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's children shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, you have grown, you have grown up. He bows down, he lies down as a lion. And as a lion, who shall rouse him? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between, the, his, between his feet, until Shalah comes. And to him shall be the obedience of the people, binding his donkey to the vine, and his donkey is called to the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine, and is clothed in the blood of grapes. His eyes are darker than wine, and his teeth whiter than milk. Zebulon shall dwell by the haven of the sea. He shall become a haven of, for ships, and his, bro- and his border shall adjoin Sidon. Eshkar is a strong donkey lying down between two burdens. He saw that rest was good and that, he, and that the land was pleasant. He bowed his shoulder to bear a burden and became a band of slaves. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Then shall be a serpent by the way, a viper by the path that bites the horse's heels, so that its rider shall fall backward. I have waited for your salvation, O Lord. Gad, a troop, a troop shall tramp upon him, but he shall triumph, triumph at last. Bread from Asher shall be rich, and he shall yield royal deities. Naphtali is a deer let loose. He gives godly words. Joseph is a fruitful bow, a fruitful bow by, by a will, his branches run over the wall. The archers have bitterly grieved, grieved him, shot at him and hated him, but his bow remained in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From there is the shepherd, the stone of Israel, by the God of your father who will help you, and by the Almighty who will bless you with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lies beneath, blessings of the be- of the breasts of the womb, blessings of your father have excelled the blessings of my ancestors, up to the utmost bound to the everlasting hills. They shall be on the head of Joseph, and on the crown head of him who was separate from his brothers. Benjamin, 
is a ravenous wolf. In the morning he shall devour the prey, and at night he shall divide the spoil. All these are the twelve tribes of all these are the tribes of Israel, and this is what their father spoke to them, and he blessed them. He blessed each one according to his own blessing. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Also from Isaiah the prophet. A reading from Isaiah the prophet. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. O Zion, you who bring good tidings, get up into the high mountain, O Jerusalem. You bring... You who bring good tidings, lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord shall come with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead those who are with, him, with, the, with young, <coughs> who has measured the waters, in, the waters in the hollow of his hand measured heaven with a span, and calculated the dust on the earth in, in a measure, weighed the mountains in scales and hills in a balance. Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or as his counsellor has taught him? With whom did he take counsel, and with who instructed him and taught him in the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are as a drop in a bucket, and are counted as the small dust on the scales. Look, he lifts up the isles in a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor its base sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted by him less than nothing and worthless. To whom then will you liken God, or what likeness will you compare to him? The workman moulds an image, the goldsmith overspreads it with gold, and the silversmith casts silver chains. Whoever is too impoverished for such a contribution chooses a tree that is not that will not rot. He seeks for himself a skillful workman to prepare a carved image that will not totter. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has not been told has not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers. Who stretches out heavens like a curtain and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in. He brings the princes to nothing. He makes the judges of earth useless. Scarcely shall they be planted. Scarcely they shall be sown. Scarcely they shall be taken. They sh their stock shall take root in the earth. When it will also blow on them and they will wither. And the whirlwind will take them away like stubble. To whom then will you liken me? Or to whom shall I be equal? Says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things, who create, who brings out their host by number. He calls them all by name. By the greatness of his might and the strength of his power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my just claim is passed over, over by my God. Have you not known, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary? His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak, and those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and unto the age of all ages. Amen. Also from Prophet Zephaniah, may his blessings be with us, amen. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken, the Lord is in your midst. You shall see disaster no more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, Zion, let not your hands be weak. The Lord your God in your midst, the mighty one, will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you in his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. I will gather those who sorrow over the appointed assembly, who are among you, to whom its, its reproach is a burden. Behold, at that time I will deal with all, all, all who afflict you. 
I will save the lame and gather those who are, who are driven out. I will appoint them at praise and fame in every land where they were put to shame. At that time I will bring you back, even at the time I will gather you. For I will give you fame and praise among all the peoples of the earth. When I return your captives before your eyes, says the Lord. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. A reading from Zechariah the prophet, may his holy blessings be with us, amen. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion, shout, O daughter of Jerusalem, behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem, the battle bow shall be cut off. He shall speak peace to his nations. His dominion shall be from, the, from sea to sea and from river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of your covenant, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today I declare that I will restore double to you, for I have, for I have bent Judah, my bow, fitted the bow with Ephraim, and raised up your sons, O Zion, against your sons, O Greece, and made you like the sword of a mighty man. Then the Lord will be seen over them, and his arrow will go forth like the lightning. The Lord God will, will blow the trumpet and go with whirlwinds from the south. The Lord of hosts will defend them. They shall devour and subdue with sling stones. They shall drink and roar as if the wine as, as if with wine. Christ our God, who spake to his Saint, the honored disciples and saying the apostles, saying, Many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. Blessed are your eyes for they see, and your ears for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your saints. Remember also our Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplication, our prayers, which we offer unto you, Lord our God. Those who have passed over to repose them, those who have killed them, you are the life of our soul and salvation of our soul, hope of our soul and the healing of our soul, resurrection of us. Stand up in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the evangelist, apostle and pure disciple, may his blessings. A psalm of our teacher David the prophet and king, may his blessings be with us all, amen. O Lord, you have brought my soul up from the grave. You have kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. You have turned for, turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. 
Bless her is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Lord God, Saviour, King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, glory be to you. And it happened that as he was coming near Jericho, that a certain blind man sat by the road begging. And hearing a multitude passing by, he asked what it meant. So they told him that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by. And he cried out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then those who went before warned him that he should be quiet. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood, stood, stood still and commanded him to be brought to him. And when he had come to, and when he had come near, he asked him, saying, "What do you want me to do for you?" And he said, "Lord, that I may receive my sight." Then Jesus said to him, "Receive your sight. Your faith has saved you." And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, the Word, the Lord of God the Father, who has broken every bond of our sins through his saving and life-giving sufferings, who breathes into the face of his saintly disciples and the holy apostles said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sin of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sin of any, they are retained. Now also, O Master, you have given grace to your holy apostles, to those who are time laboring in the priest in the Holy Church, to forgive sin upon the earth and to bind and loose in every bond of iniquity. Now also we ask and we entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, for your servants, my fathers and my brethren, and my weakness, those who bow their heads before your holy glory, dispense unto us your mercy and loose in every bond of our sin. If we've committed sin against you, knowingly or unknowingly, with the anguish of our heart, whether in deed and word, vain hardness, O Master, he who knows the weakness of man, as good one lover of mankind, grant us forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, purify us, absolve us, absolve all your people. Fill us with your feet. Straighten us with the holy goodwill for you, our God. Glory, honor, and dominion worship are due to you, together with the good Father, Holy Spirit, the life giver. As of one as now to the age of all ages. Amen. Christos Benoti. 
King of peace, grant us your peace, forgive us our sins, to you the glory and honor the means forever. I mean, here is to pray thankfully our Father, our name. The prayer and the praise of the third and six hours of the Christ our Lord our King, beseeching him to forgive our sins. From the Psalms, I teach David the prophet and King, his blessings be with us. Amen.
Holy, 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 chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, his blessing be with us. I mean, but the help of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice, because I said, I am going to the Father. For my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes, that when it does come to pass, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming, and he has nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father. And as the Father gave me commandment, so I do. Arise, let us go from here. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he proves, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. Glory be to God forever. I mean, may the word of God be completed in peace. And I shall wear us to us, and make God not to us. And then we have never made the web. Jia, kiak, suti, and moina, and all good Lord, do not take your Holy Spirit away from us. This which you send upon the holy disciples and honorable apostles that they are, create a pure heart in me, O God, and put a new and loyal spirit in me. Do not banish me from your presence, do not take your holy spirit from me. O Lord, who sent your holy spirit upon the holy disciples and the honorable apostles that they are, do not take this away from us, O righteous Lord. We ask your Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Word, the Logos, renew within us our right life giving spirit, a fallible spirit of chastity. Holiness, justice, and authority are Almighty God, light of our souls, illuminating every person who comes in the world, have mercy upon us. <laughs> Mother of God, full of grace, you are the true vine that carries the fruit of life. We ask in all the apostles, pray for the salvation of our souls. Blessed be Lord our God, and we praise His day, because He prepares our path as is the God of our salvation. <laughs> Amen. 
for the recording of the general to the city to the group of our class, if you wish to come to the group of 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 the Holy God, holy Mary. Holy, holy, holy. A chapter from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Matthew, he's blessed with us. I mean. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by man. You are the light of the world, the city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glory for your Father in heaven. Glory, glory to be God. to God forever. I mean, may the word of God be completed in peace. And also, may it also make your not all stand. Be never mind if I web. Jaki, exit here, Monday, none. Mother 
of true light and glorify your holy virgin mother of God for your death and the world. Came and said, Thou souls, glory to our master and king Jesus Christ, pride of the apostles, crown of the martyrs, joy of the righteous. Let me show you things. Please show them truth and wonder into me. Worship him. Lord have mercy, Lord. Lord, my true God, true God, Lord, my creator, the conception of the Father, for the all things you may do for us, men, and for our salvation, came down from heaven, who is incarnated the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, came man, who is by the Father, and the Father, the Father, the Father, the Father, the the Scriptures, he has sent into heaven, sits at the reign of his Father, who is coming in, his glory, shall be living in the dead, whose kingdom shall come to an end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, our giver, who sits in the Father, and with the Father, and the Son's worship and glorified, shall have the prophets, and run holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. We confess on baptism for the remission of sins. And we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the coming age. Amen. We ask you, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, hear us and have mercy upon us. Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace and edification, one holy universal apostolic church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who are brought unto these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices. And those who have brought them, Lord, have mercy. Alleluia, foi me pireo, o eta e choi se tome eio. Marente lente, o no que moren ti. Thank you. 
نبرانم و بیادنم و شیرینم و بنم ما اثواب قنوتی این اود افد مرود این جبنوت و بی پنتوکراتور امین افد مرود این جب فنو گنیس این شیری سود و خرستوس بین چوی سمین افد مرود این جبی ابن ما اثواب برکلتون آمین آمین اسپتی راگیوس و ثیوس آگیوس این ابن ما گیون آمین افلوگیتوس کیریوس و ثیوس یستوس ایون اس آمین نیت نو استیرو از مو اب شویس ما رو از مو رو فنجانی لع استیرو شاب اف نای تاگ رو هریه گون او تی مثمین تب شویس شاب شاینی آمین آللویا Eshlil, Ebi Ebrosef Kiesta Site, Mare Shuvi Adem Ben Shuvi Sob Ben Noti Ben Sati Resos Berestos, Jevres Kvaz Negon Ever Vaithinero Navari Ashuti Aseron, Afti To Derem Tanchare Yato. Ay onut ay en zobon Marin te roba pos ne varieron Chem bayet awa bayin tirun tebron Chen hirin in ben En je viban tu kratur ev chois ben nuti O se vek sa asti O master Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, our God, and our Savior, the King of us all, Jesus Christ, we thank you in everything concerning everything and in everything. You have covered us and helped us, guarded us and accepted us to yourself, spared us and supported us, and you brought us unto this hour. Pray that God have mercy and compassion upon us, Hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints, for that which is good on our behalf at all times, and make us worthy to partake of this holy communion of his holy and blessed mysteries for the remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore we ask and entreat your goodness, all our right mankind, that you grant us conclude this blessed day, all the days of our life in peace and in your fee, all in the old temptation, the work of Satan, all the intrigues of the wicked, rising of the enemies, hidden and manifest, cast them away from us and from all your people, and from this table and from this church and this holy place which is yours. But those things which are going to profit all to provide for us, it is you who has given us authority to tremble under foot serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy.
service, the ministers of this day, the clergy, and all the people, our weakness be absolved. May us the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, from the mouth of the Holy, one Holy Universal Apostolic Church, from the mouth of twelve apostles, from the mouth of the Holder of God, the Evangelist, St. Mark, the Holy Apostle and Martyr, the Patriarch, St. Severus, and our teacher, the Scholars, St. Athanasius, the Apostolic, St. Peter, the Holy Martyr, our Priest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Kirill, St. Baz, and St. Gregory, May the 319 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and 200 at Ephesus. May the honored Father, I priest Pope Albert of Edward II, and his partner, the Apostolic Ministry, Bishop Emma Daniel, and from my own mouth being the least, for blessed and full of glory, your name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now at all times, and to the age of all ages. Amen. servant of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Apostle who was called and chosen to preach the gospel of God. From St. Paul's first epistle to the Corinthians, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. And I, brethren, I came to you, when I came to you, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling. And my, and my speech and my preaching were not persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit, the spirit and power and, and, of, and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. However, we speak we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages of of our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew. For they had not, for had they known, they would have not crucified the Lord of glory. The grace and peace of the Lord be with us all. Amen.
Catholic God and selected from our first epistle of our father Peter. May his blessings be with us. Amen. But the word of the Lord endures forever. Now this is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all guile, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babies desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious, coming to him as to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious, you also, as living stones, are being built up as spiritual house, as built up as a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Therefore, it is also contained in the Scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes in him will by no means be put to shame. Do not love the world nor anything in it, for the world and its lustful desires will pass away, and those who perform the will of God abide forever. From the Acts of our Fathers, the Apostles, may their holy blessings be with us all. Amen. So when they had eaten enough, they lightened the ship and threw out the wheat into the sea. Now when it was day, they did not recognize the land, but they observed the bay with the beach, onto which they planned to run the ship if possible. And they let go the anchors and left them in the sea, meanwhile losing the rudder, ropes, and they hoisted the mainsail to the wind and made for shore. But striking a place where two seas met, they ran the ship aground, and the prow stuck fast and remained immovable. But the stern was being broken up by the violence of the waves. Now the soldiers' plan was to kill the prisoners, lest any of them should swim away and escape. But the centurion, wanting to save Paul, kept them from their purpose, and commanded that those who could swim should jump overboard first and get to land, and the rest some on board, and the rest some on boards and some on broken pieces of the ship. And so it was that they all escaped safely to land. Now when they had escaped, they found out that the island was called Malta, and the natives showed, our, showed us unusual kindness, for they kindled a fire and made us all welcome, because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold. But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. So when the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he has escaped the sea, yet justice does not allow to live. But he shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. However, they were expecting that he would swell up or suddenly fall down dead. But after they had, after they had looked for a long time and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. Now in that region there was an estate of the leading citizen of the island, whose name was Publius, who received us and entertained us courteously for three days. And it happened that the father of Publius lay sick of a fever and dysentery. 
Paul went into him and prayed, and he laid his hands on him and healed him. So when this was done, the rest of those on the island who had diseases also came and were healed. They also honoured us in many ways, and when we departed, they provided such things as were necessary. May the word of the Lord grow and spread and be mighty firmly held in the Holy Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the third day of the blessed month of Baram of Bermuda. May God begin it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and our iniquities are forgiven. Through the tender mercies of our Lord, my fathers and my brethren, I mean, on this day of the year 862 of the martyrs, 1146 AD, the Holy Father of Michael II, 71st Patriarch of Alexandria, departed. He was born in a village called Dakudus, when he grew, he became a monk in the monastery of St. Macarius the Great in the wilderness of Shahid in Egypt. He lived in austere ascetism, persevering in prayer and reading until the repute of his virtues became well known. When Pope Gabriel II, the 70th Patriarch, departed, a monk called Amba Ioannis ibn Kadran expressed his desire to nominate himself, and was supported by Amba Jacob, Bishop of Lecana, Amba Christodoulos, Bishop of Fau and Amber Michael, Bishop of Tanta. Nevertheless, the bishops of Upper Egypt, the priests of Alexandria, and the lay leaders of Cairo, of Cairo did not accept that choice. They chose three monks and cast an altar lot among them, which fell on the monk Michael. They consecrated him as patriarch on the fifth day of Mestra in the year 861 of the Martyrs 1145 AD. This Holy Father was an honorable old man, who loved the poor and the needy. He knew how to reach the hearts of his flock by these exhortations and instructions. He persevered in teaching the people and confirming them in orthodox faith. They gathered around him with love and loyalty, accepting his guidance with joy. This father continued his ascetism, piety, and contentment. He had five vacant dioceses, so he prayed in treating God to guide him to who were fit for this responsibility. God guided him to five godly monks, he consecrated them and provided them with his advice and blessing. The days of, his per of this pope were short. He fell ill and forced him to go back to the wilderness of Shahid, where he departed in peace. He remained on the apostolic throne for only eight months. The blessing of his prayers be with us. Amen. On this day also, Amber John, Bishop of Jerusalem, departed. He was born to Jewish parents who kept the law of the Torah. They instructed and taught him well and exalted and he excelled in the law of Moses. He debated the Christians and argued with them, and they proved to him the advent of the Lord Christ, and that he is the true God. He went to St. Justus, Bishop of Jerusalem, believed at his hand, and was ordained as deacon because of his, of his knowledge and virtues. They chose him as Bishop of Jerusalem after the departure of St. Justus. When Hadrian, the 117, when Hadrian, who reigned from one 17 to 138, commanded to rebuild the ruined parts of the city, and he, and he built a tower for the western gate, the gate of the Jewish temple. He hanged an engraved tablet with his name on the door of that gate. Jerusalem during his days became crowded with Jews and Gentiles. When the Gentiles saw the Christians coming to Golgotha to pray, they prevented them. The temple of the, good, of the goddess Venus was built over the site of Golgotha and the Christians were forbidden from passing through that place. Therefore, the Jews and the Gentiles became powerful and, trou and, and troubled the Christians much. Because of that, many tribulations and sorrows befell this father, so he asked God to receive, to receive him. His supplication was accepted, and he departed in peace after he had prayed, and he had stayed on the Episcopal chair for two years. The blessing of his prayer be with us, Glory be to our Lord God forever and ever. Amen.
Ageus Athanatos, O Anastas, Ecton Necaron, Que Aneton Estos Oranos, Eneton Imes Lux Evetri, Que Eo, Que Ageus Nemati, Que Nim, Que Ali, Que Estos Eonas, Ton Eonon, Amina Catrias, O Master of Jesus Christ, our God, respect you, Saint Leon of the Disciples, and Saint Leon of the Saint, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see, have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear, have not heard them. Bless thy your eyes, and see and ease for the he. May we be worthy to your act according to the Holy Gospels, through the prayers of your say. Remember also our master, all those who have been us. Remember them in our supplication, our prayers, which we offer unto your Lord our God. Thus are passed over to you, repose them, thus who are sick, heal them. You are the life of our soul, salvation of our soul, the hope of our soul, healing of our soul, the resurrection of our Stand up in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the evangelist, apostle, and pure disciple. May his blessings be with us Ben choice ben noti e ben sedi ben oro treni e sos bere sto shiri shai ne vi alfa ben noti tiro e min. A song of our teacher David the prophet and king, may his blessings be with us all, amen. Neither let, let those who pass by them say, the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Many a time they have afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord God, Saviour, King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, glory be to you. A certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and his sister Martha. It was that Mary who anointed the Lord with fragrant oil and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore the, the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, him whom you love is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, The sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified I, through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, so when he heard that he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. Then after this he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. And the disciples said to him, Rabbi, lately the Jews sought to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this, of this world. 
But if one walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not with is not in him. These things he said, and after that he said to them, Our friend Lazarus sleeps, but I go that I may wake him up. Then his disciples said, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get well. However, Jesus spoke of his death, but they thought he was speaking about taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, that you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go to him. Then Thomas, who is called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. So when Jesus came, he, be, he found that he, was already, that he had already been in the tomb four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles away, and many of the Jews had joined the women around Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary was sitting in the house. Then Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my, fa my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. And when she had said these things, she went her way and secretly called Mary, her sister, saying, The teacher has come and is calling, you, calling for you. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came to him. Now Jesus had not yet come into the town, but was in the place where Martha met him. Then the Jews who were there with her in the house and comforting her when they saw that Mary rose up quickly and went out, followed her, saying, She is going to the tomb to weep there. Then when, they, then when Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. Then he said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then the, then the Jews said, See how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man who opened the eyes of the blind also have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus again, groaning in himself, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone laid against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him who had been dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me, and I know that you always hear me, but because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me, and when he said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he who had died came out bound hand and foot with grave cloths, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. And many of the Jews who had come to Mary and had seen the, the things Jesus did, 
believed in him. Glory to you, Lord. to Lazarus, whom he raised after four days. Raise my heart, my Lord Jesus, which was killed by the evil one. Jeff is my Lord and Jeff, your name is Jiri, and Bev never my thought. Tetreya said, Jike, Volten, Oshtem, Mosten, Tiona. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, who created heaven and earth and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, the Lord of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, the God of not created, co essential with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnated of the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and became men. And he was crucified for us under the Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from dead, according to the Scriptures. Ascended in heaven, sits at the right hand of his Father, and he's coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son's worship and glorified, who spoke by the prophets and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we can bless one baptism for the remission of sins. Then goste volkai tenti anastasi Nempi on gente pie on ethneio Son, our Lord, our God, and our Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace, by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God, in the highest peace on earth and goodwill toward men. for perfect peace, love, and holy apostolic Jesus. Lord, According to your goodwill, O God, With your peace and clean us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all craftiness, and the remembrance of vice bearing death, make us so worthy, our master, greet one another with a holy kiss, that without casting us into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus. Our Lord, Lord. Greet 
one another with the holy kiss. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Yes, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, hear us and have mercy upon us. Off, 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 and o'er us, then with trembling look towards the east. Let us attend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saint Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father. and right, truly indeed it is meet and right, O oh, you there, being master, Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, he who dwells in the highest and looks upon the Lord, who has created heaven and earth and sea and all that is there in the Father, our Lord, our God, and our Saviour. Jesus Christ, by whom you've created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You who are seated, stand. Before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look toward the east. You are here around whom stand the cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with the six wings. They praise continually and without ceasing saying. Let us attend. The cherubim worship you and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. and we fell from eternal life and we were exiled from the paradise of joy. 
You did not abandon us in the end. You always visit us with your holy, holy prophets. And in the last days you did manifest yourself to us. We who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death through your only begotten Son, our Lord, our God, our Savior, King of us all, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit of the Virgin, the Holy Saint Mary.
Likewise also the cup of the sobering mixture of wine and water and when he had given thanks. Amen. He blessed it. Amen. He sanctified. Amen. Tasted and he gave it also to all the disciples, and the apostles saying, Take, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is also true. time you eat of this bread and you drink of this cup, you proclaim my death, confess my resurrection and remember me till I come. Amen, 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 your death, our Lord, we proclaim your holy resurrection. So comrade, his holy passion, his resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, sitting at your right hand of Father, his second coming from the heavens, full of glory, we, awesome and full of glory, offer unto your gifts, right are yours for everything concerning everything and in every Worship God in fear and trembling. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. Let us attend Amen. We ask you, Lord our God, we are we, your sinful and unworthy servants. We worship you, Lord, by the pleasure of your goodness. That your Holy Spirit may descend upon us, upon this gift set forth. Purify them, change them, manifest them, sanctification of your saints. O by oikente by vintobeth, O vintob. Our Lord, our God, and our Savior and King of us, O Jesus Christ, give him for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who shall partake of him. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Make us all worthy, our Master, to partake of your olives and to purification of our souls, our bodies, and our spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, may we share in our earth with all the saints who please us in the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of the one holy universe and apostolic church. 
Pray for the peace of the one holy Catholic, Apostolic and Orthodox Church of God. Lord have mercy. This which have acquired to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. For must remember, O Lord, our blessed honored Father, Archbishop Pedro Bababato, Adros the Second, and his partner, was Holy Minister, Bishop Ember Daniel. Pray for our High Prince, Papa Matuadros II, Pope Patriarch, and Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria, and his partner, Apostolic Ministry, our Father, the Bishop Ember Daniel, and for Orthodox B. He shows. Lord have mercy. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with him, grant them into your holy church, every of flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegemon's priest and the deacons. Pray for the Hegemon's priest, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the church of God. Lord have servants who are in virginity and the purity of your faithful people. Remember, O Lord, have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pantograph. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and every place, every church, every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Pray for the salvation of the world and of this city of ours and of all cities, districts, islands, and monasteries. Lord have mercy. And thus who dwell therein in God's faith graciously accord, O Lord, to bless the air of the heaven, the fruit of the, the water of the rivers, the seas, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year. Pray for the rising of the waters of the rivers, that Christ our God may bless them, raise them according to their measure, that we may give joy to the face of the earth, sustain us in the children of men, save the cattle, and forgive us our uh, uh, sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Praise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May it for us be abundantly water. and fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting. Manage our life as they fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness. Be For the sake of the poor, of the widow, the orphan, the traveler, stranger, for the sake of us all who entreat you and seek your holy name, for the eyes of everyone wait upon you, you give them their food and due season, deal with us according to your goodness, who gives sweet to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy, glad that we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound every good in. Lord have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought to these gifts, those who whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who bring them. As the 
this is the Lord is the command of your only begotten Son that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who please you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, martyrs, confess all the spirits of the righteous who were perfected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy, holy, Theotokos, Saint Mary, who in truth gave birth to God, the Word, the Logos, and Saint John, the Father, and baptizer, and martyr, Saint Stephen, the Archdeacon, the Mother of Altar of God, the Evangelist, Saint Mark, the Holy Martyr, Apostle, and the Martyr, the Patriarch, Saint Severus, and our Teacher, this Chorus, our uh, Saint Athanasius, the Apostolic, Saint Peter, the Holy Martyr, Priest, and John Chrysostom, Saint Theodosius, Saint Theophilus, Saint Demetrius, Saint Kirill, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory, the Legend, Saint Gregory, Wonder Worker, Saint Gregory, the Armenian, the 318, and Saint Melod Nazia, 150, Constantine, of Tower, Revisus, our righteous Father, the great of Anthony, Rights of Apo, the three saints of Macari, all the children of cross bearers, our Father, our John, the Egyptian, our righteous Father, our Bishoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Our Father of Paul of Tamu and Ezekiel is disciple. My Roman Father, Saint Maximus the Madius, the Fourteen and the Mothers, Elders of Shehi, the Strong Son of Moses, John Carby, the Priest of Father of Adeni and Egman. Our Father is though the Priest of Father Bacham the Coronia and Tedros is disciple. Our Father of Ashman Ashman and Radhan of Avisa is disciple. Our Father of Akira Lus the Six. Our Father of Akaras, our Seminarian, our Father of Abraham, Yeshua, who is the Mulk and Vagas, and the Archdeacon Habib Georges, and also, Lord, all the martyrs of this era, all the choir of your saints, whose praise and supplications have mercy on us all. Save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. and those who not in our, uh, have not mentioned, those which one has in his mind, and those who are not in our minds, and those who have fallen asleep and reposed in the face of Christ. Remember, O Lord, the soul of the servant, the altar of Unamin and Ahmad Allah, and the souls of your servant, Iskandar Tawfiq, and the soul of your servant, Mithat Kamil. Graciously, O Lord, repose all their souls in the bosom of our holy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, sustain them in great parts of precise still waters in the paradise of joy. The place out of which griefs are and grounding have fled away in the light of your saints. Lord have mercy. Those, O oh Lord, whose souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy, in the region of the living forever. In the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place, and we to our sojourners and foreigners in this world, keep us in your faith and grant us your peace to the end. Yes, 
يتمجد ويتبارك ويرتفع اسمك العظيم القدوس في كل شيء كريم ومبارك مع يسوع المسيح ابنك الحبيب والروح القدوس بارك وسلام لجميع نشكر الله الضابط الكل أبا ربنا إلهنا مخلصنا ملكنا كلنا يسوع المسيح لأنه جعلنا أهلا لأن نقف في هذا الموضع المقدس نرفع يدنا الفوق ونخدم اسمه القدوس هو أيضا نسأله يجعلنا مستحقين لشركة وتناول أسرار الإلهية الغير المائتة Precious blood and your precious blood of his Christ the Pantocrator, the Lord our God. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Pantocrator, who sent his only begotten Son into the world. He taught us the law and commandments written in the Holy Gospel. He taught us that fasting and prayer cast out demons. When he said this kind cannot come out by anything except by prayer and fasting. Fasting and prayer are those which raised Elijah to heaven and saved Daniel from the lion's den. Fasting and prayer are those which Moses pursued until he received the law, the commandments written with the finger of God. Fasting and prayer are those which the Nineveh pursued, so God had mercy upon them, forgave them their sins, he lifted his wrath away from them. Fasting and prayer are those which the prophets pursued and prophesied concerning the advent of Christ, many generations before his coming. Fast 
fasting and prayer are those which the apostles pursued. They preached to all nations and made them Christians, baptizing in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Fasting and prayer are those which the martyrs pursued until they shed their blood for the name of Christ. They confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. Fasting and prayer are those which the righteous and the just and the cross bearers pursued. They dwelt in the mountains, the deserts, the cracks of the earth because of their great love. For Christ the King. And we too let us fast from all evil, in purity and righteousness, and let us proceed forth through this holy offering, this sacrifice, partake of him with thanksgiving. So that with a pure heart and enlightened sword and a shame faith, faith and faith and perfect love, we may there with boldness, without fear, to pray to your God, Holy Father, who art in the heavens, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who runs the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Can be Christo. Remember, O Lord, my own weakness and forgive my own sins and where there is transgression is about let your grace be multiplied in abundance because of my own sins and the abomination of my heart. Do not deprive your people from the grace of the Holy Spirit. O God, absorb us and absorb all your people from every sin, every curse, every denial, from every false oath, from every encounter with the heretics and the heathens. O Master, grant us reason, power and understanding to flee unto the end from any evil deed with the adversary. Grant us to do what is pleasing to you at all times. Inscribe our, nine, our names with the choir of the saints in the kingdom of heaven. In Christ Jesus our Lord, through whom the glory, honor, the and worship for you. Amen. Remember, O Lord, our assemblies. Bless them. Save the manner with your spirit and the fear of God. Let us attend. And Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The holy is our, for the holy. Blessed be Lord Jesus, Son of, Jesus Christ, Son of God. 
the sanctifications by the Holy Spirit. I mean, one is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you all and with your spirit. The Holy Body and the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, Son of our God. I mean, Mukaddasun wa Karimun Jasadu Dhamm Haqiq Liya Sual Masih Ibn Allah Una Ameen Amin Peace on my name Beit Nomen to Emmanuel Ben No Divai Beik No Met Me Amin Amin Tinaati Amin 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 Tinaati 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 I believe I believe I believe and confess the last breath that this is the life-giving the life-giving flesh that your only begotten son our lord our god and our savior and the king of us all jesus christ given for took from our late lady of us all the holy virgin theotokos and mary he made it one with his divinity without mingling without confusion without adulteration he confessed the good confession before pontius pilate gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all Truly I believe, truly I believe that his unity did not depart, receive man a single man, twinkle of an eye, give for the salvation and receive sins, eternal life to us, partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe this so in truth. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe. That this is so in truth, amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them, Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaking of the immaculate and heavenly mystery is Lord have mercy.
gladness <clears throat> our tongue with joy for partaking from your immortal mysteries O Lord that which eyes not seen nor ears heard neither have come upon the heart of man the things which our God prepared for them that love your holy name and reveal them with the small children of your holy church yes this is our father the pleasure before you you are merciful we send up to you glory honor of father son the holy spirit your servants O Lord who are serving you and entreating your holy name Bowing down their heads before you dwell in them, O Lord, and walk amongst them. Aid them in every good deed. Awaken their heart from every vile earthly thought. Grant them to live into things which are betraying to the living and understand the things which are yours. Through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, and to me and all your people cry out and say, Have mercy upon us, O God, our Savior. Fair of Ron, name of your name of Shiri, name of Nebma, the web, on Oti and Oot, I mean, have us more Oot, we are people unto Kratwa. Genesis, Shiri, so is the first source of choice. Oh, the angel flying to the heights of this hymn, remember us before the Lord that He forgives us our sins. Let's praise with angels saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace and earth and goodwill towards men. Amen. Christos, <laughs> <laughs> 
King of peace, grant us your peace and forgive us our sins. To you be glory and honor and dominion and worship forever. Amen. Hear us, O Lord, we pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. in peace, peace of Christ be with you. Um, as we celebrate today, it is day where the Lord Jesus Christ gave life to Lazarus after his death. I just hope that everyone doesn't um, ever lose hope and to remember that this is not the first time that the world has gone through an epidemic that is very serious and, and has affected lots and lots of people. Um, um, and the world overcame and and, uh, and moved forward again. Um, we do believe in the power of God's work in the world. Um, he's allowing this to happen for a, for a while. It's time for, for us to retreat, to go home and to uh, think deeply about our own lives and to reflect on those days that have passed that we were uh, coming in and out of church very comfortably and now it's not the same and to get us to appreciate what, what we've got before us and to understand its value it, it is a time for retreat uh, it's time for repentance um, it's time for us to, in our own homes to celebrate this passion week that's approaching upon us very soon we celebrate in our own way that makes us really uh, in, encounter the Lord Christ. I know lots and lots of people and the youth are organizing this. They're going to have a, um, a, a little um, notice in, the, in their Facebook to show people that you can have your own Passion Week set up in your own home with the crucifix and an icon and all, all the setup that we have at church. Go ahead and have it at home. And um, Rafael, our bishop as well, and of um, in Cairo, not here locally, obviously, but one of our bishops in, in, in the, the Coptic Orthodox Church, he said um, in one of the clips that he was saying, he said, go ahead and do the, your own processions at home, do your own celebrations, do whatever you, you, you love to enjoy to do. Um, we just really await the Lord God to bring the opportunity for all of us to be able to participate in the Holy Communion again very soon. Hopefully it doesn't last long, hopefully it ends soon. God bless you and strengthen you, grant you peace. Today is a memory of the victory of Christ over death, of all diseases and everything else. So we, we hope in that and we trust in the Lord God to bring us out of that uh, situation very soon. God bless you. Go in peace. <laughs>